Real Madrid this time. It's a contest between two giants of the technology world, each determined that their games console will make them the biggest noise in home entertainment. Microsoft says its Xbox One, launching globally at midnight, is the best place to play games. Xbox, go to Skype. If you really want to, you can do lots more with it, from watching live TV to making a Skype call. It's really about adding entertainment features so that people can get the most out of one box that brings the best of games, the best of entertainment together in one place. Don't tell that to Sony. Its PlayStation 4 comes to the UK next week, having already broken sales records in the US. And the company is confident it's the choice of serious gamers. Whilst the machine can do many, many things, we are absolutely focusing in on the gaming experience and delivering them the best possible machine for that gaming experience at the best possible price. So how do the rival consoles compare in a contest which is vital for both Sony and Microsoft? Sony's PS4 is made by the company with the longer gaming history. 315 million PlayStations have been sold to date. The PS4 is aimed fairly and squarely at dedicated gamers, and it's selling for £349. The Xbox One is the third console from Microsoft. 105 million people have bought previous versions. The One comes with the Kinect motion sensor and voice control designed to make it an all-purpose entertainment device. But it will cost £429, quite a bit more than the PS4. <laughs> For these games journalists, it's a key moment in an industry changing fast as millions choose to play on mobile phones. Over the past eight years, gaming has changed radically. There's been a huge explosion in social and mobile games. But what that's been doing is expanding the industry. It's not necessarily been directly competitive with consoles. And for that reason, I think consoles are going to be around for a long time to come. For the gamers, there's plenty of fun ahead. But for Sony and Microsoft and an industry desperate to get people to pay for new games, this is a serious business. Rory Kathleen-Jones, BBC News.